Now in this problem, how many zeros will be there at the end of the expression n that is 10 into 20 into 30 and the counting is uh, going up to 1000. Okay, so let's do n is equal to suppose I write it 1 into 2 into 3 till 100 and from every number I am taking 10 is common. Okay, so it is 10, uh, it will be 2, it will be 3 and, uh, and it will be 100. So, I am taking 10 common for 100 times. So, already there are 1000 zeros. Now, I have to see how many zeros are there from 1 to 100. This is actually 100 factorial. So, precisely we have to calculate the zeros after 100 uh, in the consecutive zeros at the end of 100 factorial. So, let's do. Uh, we have already discussed that zeros will be produced by 5 and 2 combinations. So, let's see how many 5s are there in 100 factorial. So, it's 100 by 5, that is 20. Further, there will be extra 5s in 25, 50, 75 and 100. So, let's divide 100 by 25. We'll be getting 4 more 5s. So, there are total 24 5s. But definitely, there are more 2s than 5s. But we are interested in combinations only. So, there will be definitely 24 combinations of 2 and 5. So, definitely in this expression, 24 zeros will be there at the end of the product. So, we are getting 24 zeros from here and 1000 from here. So, we are not getting any option for that. So, it's none of these. Okay, friends, I hope you are clear with the problem. Now, in this question, how many zeros will be there at the end of expression 7 into 14 into 21 and the counting is going up to 777. Now, I can write it 7 into 1 into 7 into 2 into 7 into 3 till 7 into 1 1 1 that means 7 is coming for 111 times but we don't need 7s uh, to produce 0 so let 7 uh, not be there I begin with 1 into 2 into 3 till 111 so it's actually 111 factorial okay now we have already uh, discussed in the previous question we get zeros by 5 and 2 combinations so as many 5 and 2 combinations are there those many zeros will be produced okay so let's begin to calculate the number of 5s in 111 okay it's 111 by 5 what i'll be getting is 5 twos are 10 then 1 then that's 22 now 22 by 5 i'll be getting 4 so there are total 22 plus 4 that is 26 times 5 will be there definitely there are more twos than fives but we are interested in combinations so we'll be getting 26 combinations of 2 and 5 then that means there will be 26 zeros at the end of 111 factorial so is in the case of this also so it's 26 okay friends Several will not be a part of counting of number of zeros as zero is obtained only from two and five combination.